On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me pinch axis. <sighs> pinch axis is the theory of linking two chords together with one note as the axis point. Now, this gives the effect of changing perspective on one melody line. It's used quite a lot at the end of like big show tunes when you've got one big drony note at the end and all the chords change key and they all kind of build up in a different way back to the center again, to the tonal center. And I love experimenting with this. It makes me feel like I'm in the time machine from Interstellar, if anyone remembers that one. To do this, we take a note, like D as an example. You can choose any note, but we choose D for this. D is the root note of all D chords. So we can use D, and we can link that to any chord with D in. It doesn't have to be the root. So we'll take the third as an example, the major third interval. The chord that has D as the major third is B flat. So we can link D to B flat with this pitch axis theory. Now it's not limited to any intervals in particular, you can use any intervals. So if I keep singing this note, that's the root, major third, minor third, major seven, nine, minor seven, six. <laughs> you can make it darker or brighter, however you want. This is a very free way to do it. There's no boundaries. You can literally link any chords to any other chord by shoehorning in this note in the middle and making it work. <laughs> there is a more structured approach if you look up Bartok's approach to, to pitch axis and the way that he uses it in his compositions. That has more logic and direction to it. This way is just fun just to mess about and flip people's brains. And I'm partridge in a pear tree. Oh.